My name is Victoria, and I am 70 years old. I live alone. My husband passed away five years ago. After his death, I felt lonely. But there are my son and his family who live nearby. They come to visit often. So, my life is not too bad. But lately, I've been having trouble with my son Isaiah's wife, Lily. Lily has been spending a lot of money. And lately, she's been relying on my money. She even seems to be ransacking rooms when she comes over. But my grandson Johnny is the apple of my eye. He's all grown up. He's going to be 20 and go to university soon. It is the famous S University. Johnny's aspirations are high, and I am so proud of him. I was going to get him a gift as a celebration, but I figured he knows himself what he needs for his new life, so I sent him some money. Johnny was really happy and thanked me, and yet... Victoria, I heard that Johnny received some money from you. Yes, I'm sure he needs some money for the new life. I want him to buy something he wants, so I gave him money. But that's not enough. It was only $1,000. What? It's Johnny's 20th birthday, and he's about to enter the University of S. On top of that, he's going to be living on his own. And yet you gave him only $1,000? Huh? What are you talking about? I didn't give money for him living alone. And I didn't give it to you. I gave him so he can buy something he wants. How could you say that to me? I told you, didn't I? I said if you give me money for celebrations, it should be $10,000. Didn't I tell you that Johnny would need $10,000 for living expenses and school fees? Lily, what are you confused about? I only gave it to Johnny at celebrations. I'm not paying for Johnny's living expenses or school fees. That's parents and his problem, isn't it? I didn't ask Johnny to go to the University of S. It's just what he wants, right? Why would I pay for it? Your sweet grandson Johnny is going to college away from his parents, you know? Isn't it the grandmother's role to help? Wait a minute. Are you in such financial trouble that you need to rely on my money so much? No, it's not like that. It's just that Isaiah's salary is so low and it's not easy. No way! Isaiah works in a position of responsibility at the company. He earns a lot, right? It's not enough at all. I'm struggling to make ends meet on such a low salary. <sighs> you can't even afford to pay for little Johnny. You're so stingy. I feel like I've been made a fool of. It's unpleasant. That's my line. They thought I'm there for birthday and college gift. I've never even heard of that. That's too much for congratulations money. If you can't afford $10,000, why don't you sell your house or car or anything for Johnny? How dare you say that? Why do I have to give you money for the university? Where the come from? I've worked so hard to raise Johnny. I cooked delicious food and did everything for him. That Johnny is 20 years old. It's my 20 years of hard work. I deserve to have $10,000 as a reward. Isn't that fair? Again? I didn't give it to you. I gave it to Johnny. Don't get it wrong. I can't take it anymore. You don't love Johnny, and that's fine. I won't let you see Johnny again. But that's so ridiculous. Then give me the money, or you'll never see Johnny again. I don't know how we got into this mess. It was too much. At my age, I never imagined I'd be treated like this. Lily has always been aggressive. She and I have often disagreed about things. Well, it's not just me. Whenever she didn't like something, whether it was a family member or a stranger, she had a tendency to get hysterical. The other day, she started a big fight with her neighbor because she didn't like the noise of a dog. And the police officer who passed by was warning her. It was a shame. I was too embarrassed and pretended I didn't know her. Anyway, I don't have that much money to give to Johnny, no matter how cute he is. And I found out Lily was terribly vindictive. A few days later, an incident has happened. Lily, I need to ask you something. What is it? Did you get $10,000? Do you know where I am now? Huh? I don't know. Where are you? I'm in a hospital. They just brought me in by ambulance. Oh, really? Did you break a bone or something? How did you know? 
I'm afraid you already know everything. Well, it's just a coincidence. It must be hard, but I'm glad you're alive. Yeah, I thought so too. You really wanted to take my life, didn't you? Huh? What are you talking about? It was you, wasn't it? The one who tried to hit me by a car with unbelievable speed. I saw it coming and dodged, but fell down the bank and broke my leg. You mean I was driving the car? Where is the proof of that? Well, you had a bad day. Is there anything I can do to help? It's so strange. I don't feel like you're worried about me. Oh yeah, Victoria. Do you think you can get your insurance payout? Is it going to be like $10,000? Are you still talking about it? Oh, you're so persistent. Even ambulances don't come free, you know? The insurance won't be enough. I'll be out of the hospital as soon as I can, and I'm going home. Hey, you've got to be kidding me. I can't believe it was not a big injury. This is not supposed to be happened. What are you talking about? It's nothing. Oh, yeah. Come to think of it, I saw it the other day when I went to Victoria's house. What? What did you see? In Victoria's dresser drawers. What? Why are you opening my drawers? How could you do that? There was a quite a bit of expensive stuff in there. I wonder how much I'd get it for it if I saw it. Don't do that. It's a precious keepsake from my husband. You can't sell it. I mean, you're so persistent. Why are you so obsessed with money? Well, if you can't give me $10,000, you can just give me the watch and jewelry. I'm sure Johnny will be pleased. Victoria, just take care of yourself. You'd better get well before you leave the hospital. The kind words at the end really bothered me. There's no way that Lily would say anything nice to me. All I could think was that she was up to something. Then a suspicion occurred to me. She might have used the duplicate key to get into the house when I was not there. If she does, she might sell my precious things with my permission. I could barely sit still. So I reached out to my best friend Maggie. And a few hours later, my prediction came true. I thought I could do some cleaning and laundry for you. I tried to go into your house, but there was a strange woman and she kicked me out. I mean, she didn't even let me in. What the hell is going on? Who are those men? Some of them look really bad. Oh, you mean Maggie and the others, right? I knew you'd have gone to my place, Lily. I'm glad I reached her, but was close. What the heck is that? Who's Maggie? Is she Mafia? Maggie is my best friend. Besides, she's got a secret side. What? What do you mean? Maggie does a lot of work to protect the city. She used to work in a police department that dealt with violent crimes. Now she's a great boss who has formed her own organization and is working behind the scenes to eradicate criminals. The man must be Maggie's man. What? Organization? Working behind the scenes? She uses social networks, smartphones, cameras, CPS, and various devices to confront all kinds of crimes. You can't hide anything from Maggie. If Maggie gets involved, everything will be exposed. As soon as she saw my face, she said, You're really something. What's wrong with the old lady? What is the mean? That means Maggie knows everything. Everything about you. I thought you were too attached to my money. So I secretly had Maggie conduct a background check on you. Maggie's organization has spread to foreign countries. And she's got a lot of people working for her. So, she has a variety of networks and investigative skills that even the police and detectives can beat. It only takes two or three days for her to find out everything. And she also investigated why you were so obsessed with the $10,000. Huh? I was surprised. What? What? I didn't know you had that. It was nothing to do with Johnny's celebrations, right? After all, you were trying to use Johnny to get money out of me, weren't you? No, of course not. It's for Johnny. What are you talking about? And Lily, you're borrowing from the wrong people. No wonder you were in such a hurry. I heard that you had trouble paying your bills and tried to borrow from your neighbors. It's so embarrassing. So, total $10,000? What did you spend that kind of money on? Well, well... I had to pay a lot of things for Johnny. Johnny, Johnny, for God's sake! Stop using Johnny as a reason! Tell me why you're in debt! So, for Johnny... 
You think you can escape Maggie's investigation? Maggie's people are in everyday life. They could be clerks at a store or ordinary housewives. They're usually normal people, but also Maggie's investigator. You have been watched all the time. There's no excuse for what you have done. You're not going to tell me yourself, then I'll tell you. Lily, you have been having an affair. No, I didn't do that. I didn't. You went into so much debt to finance that man. You're just like all the other scumbags out there. How did you know? I tried to make sure that no one would find out. You're so shallow. That guy's mom works for Maggie. What did you say? Apparently, she was worried about her son dating a middle-aged woman, and she was talking to Maggie about it. Even if I hadn't done anything, you'd have been caught anyway. What should I do? Oh, yeah. Johnny and Isaiah just came to visit me in the hospital. We are looking over the investigation result. Isaiah's really pissed off. Johnny seems pretty shocked, too. Why? Why are you messing with my family? What are you talking about? You're the one who messed it up, really. Johnny is shocked because what he predicted has come true. Do you understand? That means Johnny knew before I did. Why? For what it's worth, Johnny is Maggie's right hand, a member of the organization. He was working hard to go to college and further his education. Lily, you're a mother, and you didn't even know that. You were too busy with a man to know anything about Johnny, weren't you? Apparently, Johnny had been working for Maggie since he was in high school. No way! You've also spent a lot of the money Isaiah has earned. Now I know everything. Not just me. So as Isaiah and Johnny. They're not going back to you anymore. They're coming to my house. They said they can't forgive you. I have to get out of the hospital as soon as possible. I can't wait to cook for Johnny when I get home. What's going to happen to me? He has already hired a lawyer for the divorce proceedings. Johnny doesn't want to see you again either. Oh no, it's just an affair. And yet, he's dumping me after 23 years of living together? It's up to Isaiah and Johnny to decide, not you. Isaiah says he's leaving you and starting a new life. He can save the rent and use it for Johnny's school fees. Johnny's decided to go to college from my house. He is happy because he doesn't have to live alone. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry. I can't. We are not a family anymore. Besides, you almost killed me. You were driving the car, weren't you, Lily? Oh no, it wasn't me. I didn't do it. No matter how hard you try to talk your way out of it, it's useless in the Maggie's hands. I can't divorce at my age. I'm going to be all alone. You're not alone. You're about to be arrested. I filed Maggie's investigation report the photos, and a damage report to the police. So, you're not alone. You're about to go to jail as a criminal. That's good, right? You won't be lonely. How did this happen? It's your fault, because you didn't give me the money. And Maggie, she ruined everything. I won't forgive you. I will never. Cut it out. You didn't give me money to make getting into debt. It's not human nature to try to take my life. Everything is your own fault. Think about what you've done in prison. Lily was arrested for assault and was sentenced to prison. She won't be able to get out for a few years. I was discharged a few days later. I'm really lucky I only broke my leg. Now I am living happily with Isaiah and Johnny while rehabilitating.